Hello everyone and welcome to another video. In Rollercoaster Tycoon 3, the Hypercoaster has access to a really cool element called the figure 8 loop, because it looks like an 8. It doesn't exist in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, but I really wanted it to, so I designed my own and in this video I will teach you how to build it. First we need to pick the correct coaster type. There are several ones that can do this, but since the Hypercoaster cannot do inversions in Rollercoaster Tycoon 2, it is not one of them. Instead, I will use the Corkscrew Coaster for this demonstration. It starts with transitioning from level to steep, followed by two steep turns. Then you have to transition back to a gentle slope and build a vertical loop in the same direction as the steep turns. My steep turns were to the left, so my loop is also to the left. You finish by going back to a steep slope, building two steep turns in the opposite direction of the first two and leveling out the track. And that is your figure 8 loop all completed. You can actually build it with the loop and final two steep turns in either direction, giving you four different designs, but I think the one that I just demonstrated looks the best. It is the only one of the four that is only two tiles wide, so it is also the most compact. The one annoying thing about the figure 8 loop is that you can take it at pretty much only one speed. The one on the left here launches at 86 km per hour, the one in the middle at 90 and the one on the right at 93. As you can see, the one on the left doesn't make it and the one on the right has excessive lateral G's, while the one in the middle balances the two perfectly. The coaster types that can do a figure 8 loop are the corkscrew coaster, the looping coaster, the wooden coaster, the inverted coaster, the laydown coaster, the LIM launched coaster, the vertical drop coaster and the twister coaster. If you're using the twister or vertical drop coaster, you can also use vertical turns instead of steep turns. The advantage is that you don't have to care about lateral G's, as vertical turns always have zero of those. But the disadvantage is that it looks less like an 8 and more like a human body without the legs and arms. And that is all I have to say about the figure 8 loop. I hope you have fun incorporating it into your coaster designs. If you found this video interesting, consider giving it a like or leave a comment. You can also subscribe or follow me on Twitch. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next video.